In India, an ancient geologic cataclysm may have struck the Bronze Age Harappan civilization and their rulers would have absolutely had no way to know of this disaster beforehand. As, around 2000 BCE, what was not a flood or volcanic eruption, but instead a small asteroid weighing 819,000 metric tons suddenly entered Earth's atmosphere. This asteroid had originated in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter and had a dense iron-nickel composition, meaning it represented a fragment of a core from a much larger asteroid. This iron-nickel meteorite likely had a slightly oblong shape, measuring 59.3 meters or 194.6 feet wide. After this large mass of rock entered the Earth's atmosphere, a bright streak of light became visible at an altitude of 120 kilometers. However, eight and a half seconds later, the heat of entry caused the meteor to start breaking up before impacting the surface one and a half seconds later. This impact generated a powerful explosion equivalent in energy to the detonation of 16.2 megatons of TNT. As this occurs and the ground shakes in a manner equivalent to a magnitude 5.4 earthquake, a several thousand kilometer per hour shockwave expands outwards in all directions. Less than 20 seconds later, a powerful shockwave kills everything in a 6 km radius. Decreasing in intensity, any structures within 9 km would have completely collapsed, while all trees would have been toppled facing outwards from the blast to a distance of 15 km, with further minor tree damage occurring to a distance of 25 km. Within minutes, an initially 496 meter deep impact crater largely filled with sediment forming what is today known as Luna Crater. Today, due to significant subsequent infilling by sediments, Luna Crater only is 2 meters or 6.6 feet deep. However, it is still quite massive, being larger than Arizona's meteor crater and measuring 1,753 meters or 5,751 feet wide. Despite being suspected as an impact crater for two decades, it took until 2024 to prove that Luna Crater was indeed an impact crater. So, is Luna Crater truly the largest confirmed impact structure to have formed on Earth in the last 100,000 years like some articles are claiming? Not exactly. Instead, while Luna Crater would rank in the top 10 as number 4, three lesser known impact structures are actually larger than it. These larger young craters are the 1,777 meter wide Zhuyan Crater in China, the 1,846 meter wide Yulong Crater in China, and the 1,940 meter wide Tanumer Crater in Mauritania. However, Luna Crater is by far the largest impact crater to have formed in the last 10,000 years of our planet, essentially during modern civilization, being nearly five times the diameter of the next largest impact structure, the largest crater of Russia's Macha craters. The newly discovered evidence which proves Luna Crater as an impact crater involves two things, an abundance of platinum group elements in the crater proper, and the presence of several minerals which are known so far to mostly exist in meteorites and asteroids. In Luna Crater, all six platinum group elements were measured at unusually high levels which averaged approximately 17 times background levels. This is highly unusual for platinum group elements to even occur in trace amounts in an alluvial plain far beyond any known platinum deposits and being the wrong type of rock to typically host these elements. The element iridium has the highest spike when compared to expected background levels being a whopping 53.15 times higher. An abundance of iridium was used to prove that a massive impact off the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula wiped out the non evian dinosaurs, and now the same element is being used to prove that Luna Crater is indeed an impact crater. As a reminder, platinum group elements, and especially iridium, are more common in asteroids than in the Earth's crust. Most asteroids are poorly differentiated, so heavier elements are spread fairly evenly throughout their mass, while on Earth, the vast majority of iridium, platinum group elements, and most other heavy elements long ago sunk into the Earth's core. There were also two minerals discovered in the crater, which are frequently found in meteorites, kirschstenite, which is sometimes found in meteorites, and woostite, which is almost exclusively found in meteorites. As a final note, I would like to thank my new patron, Major Jack Wagon, for supporting this channel.